Another question that was asked in the GATE economics paper of 2021 was given below is an inter industry transaction matrix we are given an uh, inter industry transaction matrix if final demand for agriculture sector changes from 150 to 300 units so there is change in uh, this from 150 to 300 units and for manufacturing sector changes from 120 to 200 units then the output of the agriculture sector should be of digest units we have to see that what will be the level of output of industry uh, uh, sorry agricultural sector when there is change in the final demand of the agriculture sector from 150 to 300 units so i have labeled here this uh, very element a11 a12 a21 a22 the total output by x1 and x2 now we will see what does this element this and uh, this these elements tell us now first of all we have a11 is equal to 500 okay now what does this tell us it simply tells us rupees value of output of agricultural uh, sector consumed by the agriculture sector itself okay similarly we have a12 is equal to 350 this uh, also tells us uh, rupees value of output of agriculture sector consumed by manufacturing sector and we have a21 is equal to 320 so this is here 320 i will write it here this is 320 so this tells us uh, rupees value of output of manufacturing industry rather manufacturing se sector consumed by agriculture sector this is 320 and we have similarly a22 it tells us rupees value of output of manufacturing sector consumed by manufacturing sector itself so this is 360 first step is uh, labeling them and finding a11 a12 a21 and a22 so, uh, after that we will see the per unit worth of dollar of each entry uh, this is done by we form new element that is b11 b11 is formed by simply uh, a11 divided by x1 so our a11 is 500 this is 500 divided by 1000 which comes out to be 1 by 2 okay now what does this tell us it simply tells us the rupees value of this uh, b11 tells us rupees value of input from agriculture industry required to produce one rupees worth of output of agriculture sector okay this is one by two similarly we have uh, b12 so i will write here so i will write here uh, b12 is equal to a12 divided by x1 sorry uh, x2 and it tells us this b12 tells us the rupees value of input from agriculture industry required to produce one rupees worth of output of manufacturing industry or manufacturing sector so this is here our a12 is 350 350 divided by 800 okay which comes out to be 7 by 16 similarly we have b21 is equal to a21 divided by x1 which is equal to 320 320 divided by 1000 uh, which comes out to be 8 by 25 and we have b22 which is equal to 360 360 uh, divided by 800 which comes out to be uh, which comes out to be 9 by 20 i have calculated these values so i am writing here okay after that we have to form technological matrix or technology matrix so i will write b let us say b is our technology matrix 
is composed of all these per unit worth of output of each element so this is b11 b12 b21 and b22 this is our technological matrix which is simply here this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 this is 7 by 16 and this is 8 by 25 8 by 25 and this is 9 by 20 9 by 20 okay i hope i make myself clear after that we form the leontief matrix uh, which is formed by i minus b that means this is identity matrix and from that we subtract this uh, technological matrix so i minus b is our simply this is one zero zero one this is identity matrix from there we subtract we subtract this b which is one by two seven by sixteen eight by twenty five and nine by twenty which comes out to be so one minus one by two is one by two this is minus seven by sixteen this is minus 8 by uh, 25 and this is now 20 minus 9 is 11 divided by 20 so this is our leontief matrix okay i hope i make myself clear the question is uh, rather lengthy after that what will we do we will uh, we will find the determinant of this leontief matrix so determinant is simply we multiply the principal diagonal elements and from that we subtract the product of the non-principal diagonal elements so this is equal to 1 by 2 into 11 by 20 this is uh, 11 by 40 uh, this will become 11 by 40 so I will write 11 by 40 minus 8 7 are 56 56 divided by 25 times 16 is 400 when solving this we will get uh, I minus B is equal to 27 divided by 200 so the determinant is this our I minus B which is Leon to matrix is equal to 27 divided by 200 okay now after that the next step is to find the adjoint of the leontief matrix okay so adjoint of leontief matrix i minus b how do we find the adjoint if we are given a two by two matrix the adjoint is formed by we interchange the principal diagonal elements okay so adjoint is simply we interchange here this is 11 by 20 it will come on top 11 by 20 and this 1 by 2 will go here 1 by 2 sorry this is 1 by 2 i will write it this is 1 by 2 similarly so the trick is to interchange the no, uh, principal diagonal elements and change the sign of the non-principal diagonal elements uh, without uh, interchanging their positions we only change the uh, position uh, sorry signs so if it is here minus 7 by 16 this will become 7 by 16 if it is here 8 by 25 this will become plus 8 by 25 okay we have done nothing we have interchanged the principal uh, diagonal elements and we have only interchanged rather changed the sign of the non-principal diagonal elements okay so this is our adjoint after that we have to find the inverse okay now the inverse is given by inverse that is i minus b inverse is simply one divided by the determinant our determinant is i minus b times adjoint of adjoint i minus b so we have got all the values here so i will write it here one my one divided by 
the determinant the determinant is this so this will get transposed 27 divided by 200 this will become 200 divided by 27 so this is 200 divided by 27 is I will write here 0 0.74 okay 1 divided by this so I have just uh, saved the space here multiplied by the adjoint we got the adjoint so I will write it in fraction in decimal so this is 0 0.55 this very here it is uh, 0 point 0 0.4 4 0 0.32 and 0 0.5 okay this is our inverse now multiplying we will get 0 0.41 0 0.33 this is 0 0.24 and 0 0.37 this is our so I will write this is our inverse I minus B inverse is equal to this very matrix after that now to find the change in the output level when the agriculture when the final demand of agriculture sector changes from 150 to 300 and for manufacturing from 120 to 200 so we will write the relationship between our output level will be equal to that is x is equal to x is equal to i will write here i minus b inverse times the new new demand that is d complement our new demand is 300 and 200 so i will write here now x is our x1 complement x2 complement so this will be the change in the output when there is change in the final demand in agriculture sector and agriculture uh, sorry uh, and in manufacturing sector so this is our matrix 0.41 0 0.33 0 0.24 and 0 0.37 and we multiply it by the new demand which is uh, 300 and 200 300 and 200 now when solving this will become now this is 0 0.41 into 300 which comes out to be 123 plus 0 0.33 times this 200 this is 66 similarly 0 0.24 into 300 which is 72 and 0 0.37 into 200 uh, is equal to 74 so this is our new matrix that is changing the final demand this is 189 639 this is 189 divided by sorry uh, we don't divide here so 4 2 is 6 7 7 is 14 so we can say that change in x1 is equal to 189 our output level of agriculture sector should be this 189 and for manufacturing sector it would be 146 okay i hope i make myself clear because of the lack of the space and time i was not able to make uh, you aware of the all the terms which are which are used in the input output analysis i apologize for that thank you